Here we go, guys. If you or anyone you know is suffering from lower back pain, then please send them this video. This exact protocol that Andrew is doing has been a, a godsend to a lot of our clients and people. Since 2007, we have been utilizing this protocol to not only help people with existing lower back pain, but also to prevent lower back pain from happening in the first place. This is our hip flexor stretch, or S, of our SCAM protocol. Stretch is our S. He's scooping his hips underneath him, taking his left arm to his left ear, squeezing his left glute as he side bends. He's really opening up his whole rib cage, which increases the stretch on the anterior portion of that left hip. Okay, we like three passes on each side. So follow along with us on this video. Start with the hip flexor stretch. Then he's going to move to the ground into the windshield wipers. He's going to pick a side, moving to the right. He's in a modified pigeon pose or a 90-90 stretch here. Nice and long posture. He's hinging at the waist. He's shifting his torso over top of his right shin, looking for restriction, looking for tightness, looking for some discomfort, all right? Should be feeling a big stretch on that left hip and right hip as well. Left hip flexor, left quad, as well as the right hip. Now he's looking for his first restriction. We call it R1. He's searching for it. He's found it. Now he threads his left arm through to open up his upper back, that T-spine can be a problem when it comes to lower back too. Just like the hips, the T-spine needs to be addressed as well. Now he takes his left arm to his left ear, big lat stretch all the way down to his QL, all the way down to his lower back. Thread the left arm through. He moved his right elbow to his second restriction there. We have three locations or three places that we wanna take that elbow as we incrementally walk it to the right, increasing the stretch. So he's going to go left arm to left ear. Now he's going to move the right elbow to his third and final location. He should be pretty much at in range here. Big stretch on that back left leg. And now he's threading the left arm through, increasing that stretch on the T-spine. And now he's going to open up that arm line, chest, pec, left arm to left ear. Big lat stretch. He is getting a ton of work done with that particular side. Now he's gonna move to the other side. Windshield wiper to the left side. He's switching it up. Opens up the back right leg. Big stretch on that back right leg. Now he's hinging over, nice and long spine. He's on the left shin, shifting his torso left to right. He's fishing. He's looking around, shifting, looking for some discomfort. I didn't say no pain, no gain, but you do need to find some discomfort. Now he's going to incrementally start to walk his left hands to the left. Big stretch on that right hip. You just saw him looking for it. Now he's going to thread his right arm through, increasing that stretch on the upper back. There's that right stretch on that pec, arm, shoulder, arm line there. He's fishing with his wrist, looking for some tightness, looking for some restriction. Right arm to right ear, big stretch. Be in the moment, guys. Intention is everything as he moves to his second location with his left elbow. Thread the right arm through. He's breathing. He's purposeful. We call it purposeful movement. Be in the moment. Intention, intention. Big reach. Big arm line stretch, great one for the rib cage. goes all the way down to the lower back. Now he's found his third and final location, threads his right arm through. Beautiful. Now he's opening up his arm line one more time. Chest is up, big stretch on the arm, pec, shoulder. Now he's going to take one more time, arm to right ear, big stretch on that lat. Huge, big bang for your buck sequence right here for your lower back. Now... He did, we did our S for the hip flexor stretch. We did our C for the core four matrix. That's what that whole sequence was. He just finished the core four matrix. Now we're going to go into the A of the scam protocol. This is our activation series. He's going to scoop his pelvis to the ceiling, shifting the weight to the heels, really activating the glutes and hamstrings, minimizing hyperextension or that arch in your lower back. We want to keep it really isolated to the glute, hamstring, and lower back. This is increasing stability. We need to get strong on the posterior chain and glutes to help us with low back pain too. It's not all about mobility. We've got to get strong and increase stability at the same time. So five with two leg, 
Then we do five single leg on each side. Last but not least, our M of the scam protocol, mobilize. We're in a bird dog position, actively pressing through the floor, protracting those shoulders, nice and long spine. Andrew's taking his right leg back. He's dorsiflexing or pulling his toe to his body. So nice and long. We want five reps straight back. Minimizing too much movement at the lumbar. Try to focus everything in the glute. Now he's going to go back to the right side and he's got a circle. Straight back with a circle. We're going to wake up those hips. Activate those glutes. Get them stronger. This protocol has changed so many lives since 2007. We've been using the same protocol. Along with obviously globally getting the body stronger. Increasing Range of motion at joints that need more range of motion. Increase in stability at joints that need more strength. So it's a, it's a bang for your buck. Holistic approach. He's reversing that circle now. Five reps on each hip. And this is the core four matrix. Scam protocol. If you have low back pain or know someone that does, please share this with them. I'm confident it will help them. Not only with their existing pain, but prevent it from happening in the first place. Thanks so much.